Now's the time, Portomaster. Hey everybody, this is Mike and Elias with SkylanderNuts.com. We're here today with another Skylanders Trap Team character review. Today we're going to be reviewing one of Elias' favorite characters that he's had his eye on since he was announced. So Elias, who is your character? It's fire and I love to play with it and it's a him. It's Trailblazer. There we go, Trailblazer. Trailblazer is the first and only unicorn character as far as I know and I believe it's the only horse type character as well there's a uh, nightmare she's part horse part person she's got a um, you know weapon and she Sword. doesn't yeah it doesn't really um, move like a horse trailblazer is definitely all horse all all unicorn and you can really um, get that feeling when you play with horse her. and has unicorn yep and he is yeah that's he he's very unique in that way and how he moves but do you know that he has quite the temper yeah yeah he has a temper he gets really mad whenever he uh -huh. sees something unfair uh -huh. and one day he saw a unicorn trapped uh -huh. in a net do you know what made the unicorn special uh -huh. the unicorn had a churro for a horn churro. now that's kind of a strange backstory to me but that's the way it goes and this yeah. This unicorn was trapped by some dark wizards. Uh-huh. And what do you think Trailblazer did? Uh... What, do you think he let the unicorn stay in the trap? No. No, he let him out. And he was mad because he thought this was quite unfair for him to be trapped like that. Well, apparently, some of the cinnamon off the magical churro of this unicorn rubbed off on Trailblazer and mixed with his fire element, setting him pretty much on fire. And yeah, it was all a fire. That's right. He, it, you can see it on his mane how he's on fire. He, he gets mad and he just lights up. It's on his, his body. Yep. On his tail. Well, those dark wizards came back and they were mad that Trailblazer had let the mag uh, mythical unicorn go. So Trailblazer, having this newfound firepower, ran circles around the elves or elves wizards and chased them off and after that he thought you know I can do something with this power and he sought out the Skylanders and he also became a Skylander through seeking them out and showing them that he wanted to use his powers for good yep. so what do you like about him buddy what makes him cool to you oh uh, her this uh, he has this thing on her head yes he has this like mask uh, armor type mask like kind of like a knighted horse right yeah like if somebody in a joust would have a horse with this mask on and uh, it's it's armor it's a little bit of armor there he's got a little bit of armor on his chest and her that's kind of what her that's kind of plain he looks kind of plain huh? yeah he is pretty basic i mean he is just a unicorn with this little bit of armor uh, fire, the horn, his horn on fire, his mane is on fire, and his tail is on fire, all show that he is a fire Skylander. Like, there's no mistaking yeah. that this is a fire Skylander. Uh -huh. And with no weapon, what do you think his main attack is going to be? Oh, her horn. His horn. His horn. Yeah, his horn is his main attack. It shoots fireballs. Huh? Yeah. What so is there anything else you like about him just besides the fact that he's got cool looking armor and her has this thing on her. This this is uh, yeah, that's more of a night shield type thing on on his uh armor there. Alright buddy. So you ready to get Trailblazer in the game and take a look at all of his moves? Yeah. Alright, we'll show off his fireball, horn attack and everything else and let you know what we think of Trailblazer. All right, we'll be right back. The main event. All right, Lias and I are back, and we have Trailblazer on the portal. We are ready to show you all of his attacks. Are you ready, buddy? Yep. All right, then why don't you go ahead, go back into the Chaos Doom Challenge that we were playing. 
or had started and let's start that first wave now I kind of like the way Trailblazer moves as a character you know being a horse he moves around like you would expect a horse to move around and that's going to show in some of his attacks as well which is I think pretty cool uh, all right buddy ready all right we're going to show the first attack here which is the basic attack called fireball he shoots fireballs out of his horn and as you can see he has three fireballs coming out of his horn right now that's because he's got an upgrade called triple fireballs that is part of the equine excellence path uh, the path that improves his stampede attacks among others so that is what we chose and as you can see it, that triple fireball attack comes in pretty useful Lion said no problem wiping out. Well, is that the wave? I guess that's half the wave. Here come the big guys. Oh, Trailblazer is pretty quick, so when Lion stays on the move, he's not going to get hit very much by that chompy ring. But the chompies hit the bad guys. The chompy ring? Huh? Yep, that's true. And if you noticed, because Trailblazer is a fire character, when you were sitting in that fire there, that fire trap, you were getting healed. Did you no. notice that? Well, oh, you get a little close to those trolls there, but yeah. But that fire comes, and you just walk right into that. All right, so that was pretty easy. That was his main attack. That has been upgraded. It's also been upgraded by a few other upgrades. One called Bring the Heat. This allows the fireball attacks to do extra damage, so it's a little more strong because of that. And there's another generic upgrade called Fuel the Fire, which allows all the attacks to do more damage. So we've got a couple non-interesting attacks in his uh, upgrades, but that's okay. Go ahead, start the wave. Now we're going to show you the second attack called Roundhouse Kick. He does this with the B button. It's kind of like the fireball, but he just turns his body and kicks a fireball out in front of him instead of... Uh, shooting it out of his little horn or I guess he's a unicorn not a horse but unicorns horses move the same Watch your steps, uh, I Avoid think those is a unicorn yeah all right hey. hit the B button now so I don't know this tax is not hitting right away you gotta get out of the way bud you can't get dead. you still can't get dead. all right we'll get close to him then hit the B button. Uh, he's the box. There you go. Alright, go back to your X button attacks, buddy, and wipe them out. So there was the. Don't get hit by him, though. Go down there and get some food. You must have food on the box, no? I guess you watch it this way. Alright, so use a mix of the B button and the X button attacks if you want. That B button attack called the roundhouse kick, uh, not overly powerful and not very easy to aim. Plus you have to be right next to the guys, which when you're talking about these big guys, you don't want to be right next to them. All right, let's see. I think there's an upgrade to that roundhouse kick called the bucking bronco. Get away from that jumpy rain, buddy. If you stop, you get hit by it. That's not gonna be good. You're gonna have to run by him and hit him with your horns. Don't Go in that fire. Room. No, no, you gotta run toward them. You gotta run by them. You can't let them hit you. You can't stop and let them take a swing at you because they're big guys. You gotta run past them, through them, away from the red bombs. the bomb sounds. I know, you gotta run. You can't stand still. Kill one, two, two, three, Go down and kill him, buddy. You can't run away from him. You have to run toward him. You can't stop. You can't stop. You gotta run toward him and buy them. There you go. Get it aim toward him. There you go. Good job. Good recovery. Alright. Now we're gonna show you the third attack, which is an upgrade attack to the Y button. And it's called Stampede. Now, I think he's got some upgrades on this one as well, but yeah, basically you press the Y button 
and he'll do a little charge and hit him with his horn. You hold it down, he'll charge longer. And what you're going to see with his attack once he starts the stampedes is that we've got both of the other upgrades from the equine excellence upgrade path that are going to come into play. So go ahead, buddy. Did you get your food? No, I don't have food. Why don't you have food? You killed two waves. Start. You should be getting food like every time. Uh, Alright, well hold down the Y button, buddy, and show them. There you go. Run right at the guys. Y button. There you go. Run them all over. Go in that fire. Heal yourself. I don't know if you get hit while you're in that mode, buddy. Get down there. Hit the Y button. Y button through them. Charge. Good job. Charge. Charge through them all. Miss me. Charge again. Charge. There's Here. some food. Charge through that food. There you go. That one dang. That helps. Do, 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 do. So that charge attack awesome. there is pretty powerful. Now you saw the ghost versions of Trailblazer. That's from the flaming form. Just the last one. You use the Y button, buddy. Those two ghost versions are. Uh, flaming forms that accompany you during this attack and makes your attack a little wider. Plus, if you notice, there's fire coming out from behind Trailblazer there when, when he's stampeding. And that is the Firewalker upgrade. It leaves behind a trail of fiery footprints and damage enemies. It doesn't last long, so you gotta be careful of that when you're using it. Somebody I'm through him, buddy. Charge him. Charge him. It appears that he doesn't take much damage when he's charging. Unless maybe a direct hit. I can't tell which one is you and which one is... The... I'm in the middle. It. I know you're in the middle, but I lose it there when you're attacking. So, and I'm just watching. So that's a pretty good attack. Um, he... Lias dealt with those guys with very little damage. This will be the last cat ever. Yeah. Get that money. Alright, what have we not talked about? Um, well, we haven't really showed the bunking Bronco. Now that you have some more health, hold down the B button to go into Bronco mode when you got a bunch of small enemies coming at you. Yeah. Okay, buddy? Now, this is... It, bunk, it bucks like a Bronco, alright, but it's also uncontrollable. So he kicks yeah. basically in random directions. He even moves in a random Start. direction. I don't think he can really control. So see what happens, buddy. If you get, yeah, these grenades. Try to. There he goes. He's just, boing, boing, he's just boing. bucking and kicking boing, and boing, 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 doing boing. some damage. <laughs> yeah, pretty good on the uh, on the little guys. That's not gonna work well on the big guys. Wrench on beat. Slamming on. All right, so that's the bucking bronco. It's it's a basic upgrade, nothing Not special with that one. Now, you gotta hold the X button for these guys, buddy. Hold it down. Hold it down. There you go. Look at that flame go straight through everybody. Keep doing it. Alright, now Y through them. Y through them. Y button through those guys. Y button, charge them. You got Chompy Rain coming down on you. Run away. Y. Use your Y attack. Get some food? No. Keep going down. Keep going down. Why? 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 You're not getting hit with the Y. I like that attack. Why button? Keep going. Keep going. Oh, I think you got hit once there, but that's okay. Why? 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 If you don't do the Y, you definitely will get hit. Now you can shoot those guys down there by the box. All right. Good job. Well, that what what you saw for a second when he was able to hold down the X button. Do it again, buddy. Hold down the X button. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll do it real quick. Don't start another wave. So that was the soul gem called Heat Wave. It, you saw it a couple times there. He did it right before the enemies got yeah. too thick. Uh, some of the, the big guys, like, smashing me down, but I got food, like, I should have got food for um, two waves because... That's a lot of waves, too. Yeah, that was a lot of waves. But you know what? You, you got damaged a lot because Trailblazer doesn't have a whole lot of armor. Those are 10. Yeah, yeah. and he's only level 10 right now. So, 
He's not the strongest Skylander yet, but that's okay. He's got all of his moves that we can show. And uh, you'll hold down that X button one more time. Show him that wall of fire. There's, there it is. And we saw that wall of fire. It goes through every enemy. It doesn't stop when it hits an enemy. So it's pretty powerful, pretty damaging there. How many enemies is on his bacon? Oh yeah, it's yep. like basket. Well, you did, you did a good job getting the first few waves of enemies there with that attack. But then they started. You started getting hit by the chompy rain. You had to start moving. You can't just stay still when that chompy rain comes at you. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because chompy rain is with a lot of chompies coming out. Yeah, I think and they they're hurt. red chompies. Yep. They also didn't hurt enemies. Well, that's yep. They hurt some enemies too. And so basically, I think after looking at all those attacks, trail because we chose the equine excellence path, and we've got the double, the two flaming forms accompanying Trailblazer, and we have the Firewalker upgrade. When in trouble, Trailblazer can use that um, stampede attack where he just runs right through his enemies to get out of trouble because it keeps him moving, which is good. And he doesn't appear to take damage while he's in that mode unless he just comes out of the mode or maybe gets hit by somebody big like a cuckoo clocker. Um, other than that, he's kind of invincible. All those little enemies didn't hurt him at all. The grenades didn't seem to hurt him when they exploded and he just went right through them. So, um, he's not a bad character. He's pretty fun. You, you like him? Uh-huh. He was one of your How? first favorites. How about... Why? He almost died when he's level 10. That's well, he, his armor's not very high, buddy. So, Trailblazer, you might want to put some hats on Trailblazer to give him some bonus armor. Yeah. Alright, well, I think that wraps it up for Trailblazer. Visit us at SkylanderNuts.com and you can see our written review and our score. Uh -huh. And we'll be back uh -huh. next time to look at another Trap Team character. Bye.